All right, welcome back to the shop. So today I have a video on an issue that, that we have on a lot of these M1161 and M1163 um, growler vehicles. Uh, there's, there's two indicator lights here. For One is for the dimmer switch, to tell you when your bright lights are on, and the other one is for your dash lights. So right here, this is a, a light indicating when you have your, your bright lights on. Um, you'll see that light up blue through that little hole. And then this one here, this light, um, the cover on it's solid, but what it does is it shoots light behind the dash. And these gauges here have a clear opening on them, and that one light illuminates all three of these gauges. We've seen some that work, but most of the ones don't work that we see. And so the problem is it's a bad ground. It's a ground that they didn't put. Um, I think they expected it to ground through these screws, but if there's any cark paint behind there or just corrosion or whatever, um, they stand a good chance of not grounding. Okay, so here's what we do to... Well, for one thing, the first thing to test it, okay, if, you're, if your indicator for your bright lights doesn't work and your dash lights don't work, just unscrew one of these tops, you know, one of these covers, and you'll see right there there's the sleeve um, where the bulb goes in, that metal, metal ring part. Just get a test lead and ground it to one of these screws here. These usually work good as a ground. And then just run the other end of the wire to that sleeve inside there, and you'll see the lights, the lights are going to come on because you're going to give them a good ground. Um, so what we do to fix them... Let me get the light in here. So let me just see if I can set this light. There we go. So these these are the lights right here. This is the top one, the, the dimmer switch one, and this other one's the gauge light. Um, you can see they, they have a ground wire that goes there on that screw right there. So we added a ground wire to, to one of the mounting screws on each one of those. If you notice, there's a spacer there to hold that light to hold that light housing in position, and it's plastic. So it's only gonna go through the screw if everything's going right. So the odds are against these things of working. So anyways, we take and take that screw out, put a, a ring tongue on a wire, and um, put the screw back in, clamping that wire on there. We do it to both of them, and then route the wire over here to this ground right here. So I get this dash down without breaking anything. Right here is a ground wire right here on the CTIS controller, and that's a, that, that's what grounds the CTIS controller. It has a ground wire that actually goes and grounds to the dash back here, you know, to the firewall. Because this dash, um, although it's aluminum and it can conduct electricity, um, it, it just stands a good chance of not getting a good ground because if, you've, if it's been carked on here, under here, uh, it might not get a good connection. And just to get a good ground, you want it to run to the firewall. And then it runs right here to the CTIS controller. And so we ran those wires right to there and that makes the lights work. So that's a really easy fix for those if your dash lights don't work and your dimmer switch indicator doesn't work. All right, I hope this video helps some of you guys. Um, so anyways, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.